What is up? What is up? What is up? FS Club Friday, guys. Friday is finally here. Hopefully, you guys are all having a good day. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys got planned for this weekend. My plans try to stay warm. It is like I think the high for today is like 43 degrees Fahrenheit where I'm at in Missouri. It's cold. Well, anyways, if you guys haven't already done it, make sure you guys put in the comment section below hashtag FS Consoles. Let's get to it. If you have not followed us on Twitter, make sure you guys do it. It's at FS Club Xbox or on Facebook at FS Club Consoles. First thing, Mr. Oxygen David, you know everything he makes is good. Uh, well, guess what? Soon Shamrock Valley is near complete. Shamrock Valley was an FS17, but it was only on PC. I never got to play it because I didn't play any PC on FS17. But it is coming to PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac, guys. I cannot wait. Here is a few pictures of this. This looks amazing. He said that uh, it's near complete and will be sent to its testers in the incoming weeks. I'm hoping, hoping that I'm going to be getting a preview copy of it so I will be able to actually show you guys in the next few weeks to a month. That is very, very exciting. So that is from Oxygen David. Next thing, custom modding. If you guys have PC, if you guys have a PC, uh, you guys can right now get the uh, 2018 Mac Anthem 48 Sleeper. Uh, features six engine options. Uh, three wheel options, aerial kit, bull bar, mirror, visor, and sky side skirt options. So this looks amazing. Yes, guys, this will not be on Kyle's console uh, because Giants doesn't have the brain and they can't brain it as a lizard and just change the paint. You can't do that. And also it has a high poly count. So there is that. So that is some of the news for today. Uh, on the mod side, well, wow, looks like updates are starting to finally roll out. So we got the Euro Tunnel Pack update, the Old Farm Countryside. Let me look at this real quick. Uh, where is it? Change log. Ooh, two new crops were added, rice and hops. Heck yes. Heck yes. Modify the textures of foliage and those of distance of the rye. Very possibly this is the final version. I might have to do another Let's Play on this. I mean, this completely changed from the first time I did it. Rice and hops, that is amazing. And that is on console. Two new crops on console, guys. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's all I got to say. Uh, looks like we have an update for the uh, slice weight, uh, the coon, gens, uh, fent favorite 509510, ursus, which is a lot of updates actually today. Why is there so many updates? Yeah, there's a lot of updates today. Okay, let me push refresh again, make sure there is nothing else. So far, nothing else. Okay, on the testing side, PC side, we have Babarosity, Bug Fix Placeable Lights, DDK240B, Ford 40 Series Pack, Green Ridge Valley, which I am actually uh, doing live streams on that. That is an update for Seasons. Uh, hopefully that comes out pretty soon. Uh, then we have Growers Farm from MJ Modding, another good map. And then we have Gene Do D Brew Top Tiller 350P, McCormick C Max 105, Ogo Plus RBG Double, Olbert Silage Roller SW300. Then we have Seasons Geos for Central Italy, France, and Northern Sweden. Silo King 1814 Multi, Small Shed Prefab, Socorro Set GM30, and then Ugachim. And then on the PS4 and Xbox One side, we have Case IH Magnum US Series by Carl Farms, uh, the Gens Hem 583Z with ESP Cab, which just came out, the John Deere Slice Weight, which just came out. The Coon Access 402 Plus Pack, the M402 Disc Hero, Pause TSL 8.7, Profi Flegel Front Packer, Seasons is still in testing guys, and the Old Farm Countryside which just was released with two new crops. So what, I think there has like four or five new crops on that thing all together. So that is amazing. Number of mods waiting to be tested is 157. Uh, current average waiting time is 11 work days. So let's go down here. Friday update. Enjoy the weekend, folks. 
Okay, so what we got to do now is we're going to take a look at, of course, Fact Sheet Friday. So here we go, guys. Okay, the first fact sheet we got. Uh, let's see. Uh, it is for the Class Jaguar 960 Terra Track Forge Harvester. Uh, let's see. Uh, 476,500, 626 horsepower. Wow. Uh, 12 board Michelin and Midas. Uh, you either have standard or long pipes. So that's pretty cool. Uh, also, the Orbis 900 Forge Harvest header, which is 121,500. That's an expensive header. But it is also 9 meter working width. Uh, working speed is 6 miles per hour. And then we also have the Pickup 300 Forge Harvester header. Uh, let's see. 20,500, 3 meter working width. So that is the first fact sheet for today, guys. The last one, this is the complete last fact sheet, guys, because these are the last fact sheets for the Platinum Edition, because we only got like, what, uh, about 13, 14 days left, that's it? Uh, so we're getting very, very close. Uh, next Friday will be the last Friday, so. Uh, this one we have right here is the Class Lexion 8900, uh, 489,500, 489, 790 horsepower. Guys, the capacity on this thing, 18,000 liters. I think this will be the biggest harvester on console. Uh, let's see, it also comes with a Convio 1230 harvester header, which is 83,500 and 12.3 working width. And then of course the header trailer you're gonna have to have is 12,500. And then we also got the corn header, which is the Corio 1275 FC, which is 79,500, 9.0 working width. So that is the fact sheet, guys. So that is everything for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you guys are excited about. Uh, remember, in the comment section below, put down what you guys got planned for this weekend. Uh, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys pound the like button. If you have not subbed, make sure you guys do. After this, you guys will see a little bit gameplay clip of the fact sheets. Hopefully you guys do like, and I'll like always, guys. Have an all-stay farmers. Peace.